Okay, so we're going to do a rip from an audio CD in this video. And uh, we, we were able to rip before from Riffmaster Pro, but we've made this so much better. Uh, we've done quite a lot of work on this so that it uh, it's just much easier to use, basically. Uh, so we will go to this CD icon as normal and uh, click on that. Make sure that you have a CD loaded into your into your computer, into your CD ROM drive. Uh, it will go to the default drive generally and then uh, you can check or uncheck this little uh, box here which will look up that CD at uh, freedatabase.org and that will um, give you all the details from the CD and the tracks so it's kind of handy so if you you put in a CD that you've uh, purchased at a store and you put this in then it'll immediately go and find the details of that now you do have to be connected to the internet for that reason um, so that it can't look up the server so and then click on continue and so it's going through the process and sometimes you you might find that your firewall might stop it so you need to just allow it through so the tracks, uh, the, sorry, the CD that I've put in here is uh, John Malin Blues Breakers, and um, it was a album that Eric Clapton played on in year 1966. That's a long time ago, over 40 years, I think. Yes, I'm sure it is. Yes, of course it is. Uh, and I'm going to choose All Your Love because it's a cool track, and um, we will click select, and it will bring that track into. Uh, this window which uh, asks us if we want to save it as a WAV file or an MP3. I'm going to save it as an MP3 and I am just going to save it in my music file. You can pretty much save it wherever you want. If, Like I say, if you've got uh, a folder set up in there in your my music folder that you want to keep all your Riffmaster stuff in, then by all means do that. Uh, and also adding the track to the media library. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that because then uh, then we've got it in there ready to work with. So let's click on finish. And that will bring the file into Riffmaster there. You can see it just brought the file into. There it is with all the settings. And you can uh, go and check the settings of, of that particular file if you want to and change them. And then we'll just play the track as normal. 